Hey, so today I want to show you, I've, um, I've made this into a bit of a picture diagram before, but I want to do it on a video, it's just a little bit easier to show, but um, easiest way to measure your spring rates. Um, this is a x-ray, 2.8, and we know that because it says 2.8 on it, and we trust that. Now, what happens if you were to get a kit spring from another car or a different manufacturer and um, you want to match them and you want to run different fronts and rears and you don't quite know what they are and they might say one thing but how do they actually measure so what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you a nice easy way you need a pair of vernier calipers and your kitchen scales um, or the ones you use to weigh your car <clears throat> and what we're going to do is we want to measure total length of the spring until the vernier caliper just hits the end taking no pressure right there there's no play in there that's perfect. Okay, so that's telling us the total length of that spring is 20.16. Okay, there's no play in there. You haven't taken any pressure off the spring. There's no loading. Now, what we want to do is now we want to take 10 millimeters off this reading. The reason being is that they measure these springs with 10 millimeters of force, and that's where they get their rating from. So if we take 10 millimeters off here, we'll end up at 10.16. All right, so we're on close enough there. And the reason we do that is now at the send, you're gonna have 10.16 millimeters of um, this part of the vernier sticking out, which means now we can go to the next part, put our 2.8 X-ray spring on the scale, turn it on, and we can press this vernier caliper all the way to the bottom until it bottoms out. Just look at the reading. Bottoming out right now. 2.7 to 2.8, like it's hovering just below and just above. It's perfect. It's like a 2.8 spring and it's it's bottoming out right on that 2,800 grams, um, which is, you know, indicating it's, it is what it's saying it is, which is great. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take that spring away, and we're now going to get a mystery spring. And we know that it goes good on the car, but we don't know what it actually is can, compared to other springs. So we'll try that out next. Okay, so I've gone through my uh, box of goodies and I've got the kit standard uh, silver spring from the Express XQ10 kit. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take a measurement on that. See the overall length. Okay, 19.8. So now we're going to take 10 millimeters off that. 9.8. We'll plonk the spring down here. The mystery unknown spring. Now let's press down and see what reading we get. So it's bottoming out around the two point two point seven. 
so 2.7s. Uh, that's equivalent to the X-ray 2.7, so it's good to know. Whereas beforehand, you wouldn't know, would you? You put it on the car and you just drive it and you're mm, not sure. So it's a nice, easy way to measure all your springs. Write them down in like a notebook or on your phone or something so that when you're at the track um, and you're after a spring or you're having issues, you can look through your um, spare parts and know exactly what spring to use. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to explain this next part, which is for progressive springs um, and a different way to measure. And it's quite handy. We're now going to go and try something different. So let me just take this measurement again. This is a 2.6 x-ray spring. Take the measurement. That is... Still got a bit of weight on there. Got to get it just right so it's not taking any load. Right there. 20.23. Now, we're not going to take 10 mils off this time. We're going to take five because that's the maximum that your tearing car is going to actually use when it's cornering. Maximum, not 10, maximum five. Um, so let's take five off this. That'll do. Plonk that back on here. This is going to tell us the reading for five millimeters of distance traveled on the spring. So we've got about 1,200. Right. That was a 2.6 spring from X-ray. And this is a 2.3, if you can see. There we go, 2.3 to 2.6 progressive spring. Now, if we measure this one, And do the 10 mil test. Okay, so we're going to say 10. So this is the 10 mil test on a progressive 2.3, 2.6 spring. Press all the way down. Okay, you're right on 2.6, right? So that's fine. That's 10 mil. 10 mil you get 2.6 reading, so that's bang on. But let's go up five. Let's see what it does when we go to 15.25. Now this is interesting because you can do this at one mil increments to see what each of your springs, your progressive springs are doing. And understand why your car is doing certain things on the track. So this is now taking a reading at 5 mil. About 11.60. So that's at 5 mil which your car's never going to get to 5mm, otherwise you'd be sitting on the chassis, right? So 
This is where it gets interesting. 2.3 to 2.6 progressive spring. You would think too soft, but at five mil, it's 40 grams off what the 2.6 linear spring is. So now go through all your springs and measure them and compare. And you'll realize that these progressive springs, when only pressed at a few mils, actually quite comparable um, to the harder springs. So yeah, go through. Now you know how to do this and check them out and um, see what you come up with.